Here we have a 2005 BMW 320D Touring in a blue grey colour. If we start with the offside front tyre, you're looking at around 3mm of tread on the tyre. And you've got quite a bit of wear in there to the outer wall. Look at the front tyre alloy itself. You've got uh, quite a few curb marks around the majority of the wheel. You can see some dirt and some rust patches there in the corners where the uh, it's fading a little bit, but it will need a refurb. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, uh, you've got quite a large dent in the rear passenger door. I don't know if you can see that from here, but I will show you in it in a bit. But uh, other than that, um, just quite a few scratches to be honest around the paintwork. Um, some very light, you can see just across here. Looks like a head scratch to be honest. Those will polish out, no problem. Um, and some are just slightly heavier than others. Quite a few uh, scratches to the mirror caps and stone chips, and again, just uh, scratches around the paintwork to be honest. Uh, quite a few around the driver's door, you can see just little ones here and there. And quite a few, well, not very minor, car park little nicks in the driver's door, just one or two there, here and there. As we move around to the rear passenger door, you see this large dent here in the uh, the passenger door itself. It's not actually very deep, but it's just uh, quite big in actual size. And other than that, just a few light scratches again. You can see around uh, the rear passenger door here, and quite a good scuff to the offside rear arch. Taking a look at the offside rear tyre. Again, we've got around 3mm of tread, possibly a little bit more. And looking at the rear alloy, again, we've got some heavy curbing. So, again, it will probably need a refurb. And then moving on to the rear of the car. Looking at the back here, no signs of any dents or any dings at all. Um, you have got your rear parking sensors, but again, a few marks to the paintwork. You can see you've got quite a few scratches to the boot lid. Very minor little chips there in the paintwork. Got a little bit of a crack there to the back of the paintwork. And again, just quite a few light scratches to the bodywork of the car there. And uh, you've got quite a bit of damage here. You can see. Um, so it's had a good scrape. It's creased there on the bottom of the bumper. And you've actually got quite a little bit of a hole there into the paintwork. So that will uh, obviously require some work. And then moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Look at the near side rear tyre. Again, we've got around 3mm of tread. And looking at that rear alloy. You can see you've got curb marks around the majority of the wheel as well. So again, could probably do with a refurb as well. And taking a look down the near side of the vehicle, they've got a very minor dink on the rear passenger door, which I'll show you. Um, but no signs of any dents or anything as such. Again, you've got quite a bit uh, of a scuff mark there on the near side rear arch. And a slight minor dink there on the arch as well. Take a look at this small dink on the rear passenger door which you can see there, it is minor but again it is there, but other than that, again it's the same story as the offside, uh, quite a few scratches that will require a good mop, and we've got some very heavy scratches here on the bottom of the vehicle, um, quite heavy there, and get my nail into it there, so again this will require some work, that scrapes all along the bottom there of the car, and it is quite scuffed there on the near side rear arch. That's something to be aware of. Again we've got a few light like, scratches to the uh, the mirror there. And some scratches to the paintwork. Look at the near side rear tire, uh, front tire, you've got around 3 mm of tread as well. And look at the front alloy, again you have got some curb marks unfortunately, so it will need a refurb, so all four wheels could do with a refurb. Move around to the front, We've got some very light scratches here on the front. Uh, most of these should polish out here. Quite a heavy scratch there. 
and then quite a lot of stone chips to be honest you can see dotted all around the front bumper which will require um, a lot of touch-ins looking at the bonnet again a few stone chips here and there uh, a bit of lack appeal here and the same on this uh, offside front bumper quite a lot of stone chips there you go for take a look inside the car just come with a cloth interior and it is quite dirty uh, quite stained um, taking a good look, can't see any signs of any damages in the cloth, no rips or any tears at all but uh, just could do with a real good valet to be honest but um, especially on the side here you can see it's quite stained um, but no signs of any damage at all, turning the back of the seats, the plastic covering on the back of the seat looks uh, quite well go for a quick look inside the front Again, look at the driver's seat, you can see you've got uh, some stains here and there. No signs of any damage though at all. Slightly worn on the driver's holster, but it's a bit better to use vehicle. You can see here, uh, just a bit stained. And the same with the passenger side, to be honest. Um, pretty nice condition. A few little marks there to the plastics, but overall, not too bad. And some scratches there around uh, the automatic gearbox. Some rips to the mats as well, so we'll probably do with some new mats and a few scratches around uh, the interior here. Okay, if we step inside the car, I can show you the mileage. The car does only come with one key, no problem starting the vehicle. Um, it's just recently had a new turbo fitted as well, so we wouldn't have to worry about the turbo going at all. And it has done 163,781 miles, so it has clocked up a few miles in its time. Looking at the multifunction steering wheel, you can see it works perfectly fine. Your radio, CD, standard BMW setup, um, your heating here. All the blowers blow perfectly fine, everything functions well. Like I said, automatic gearbox. If you take a quick look at the documents, the car's had four previous owners in its time. If you look at the MOT certificate, and it's April 4th, 2014, so you won't have to worry about the MOT for a while. And then we do get full franchise service history as well, which is a, is a good positive. Feel free to pause at any time to have a better look. First one at 18, second at 39. Um, bit of a jump here. So 82, 113, 125. 147 and your last one there yeah your last one there 161 213 so recently serviced about 2000 miles ago as well which is great there we have it that is the uh, 2005 BMW 320d touring um, overall quite a nice car just needs a bit of work done to it